Hey guys, I'm back with part two of Shop Goodwill Lot number 21. And my name's Jen, and this is Coffee, Jewelry, and Jokes. So if you didn't watch part one, go back and watch that first. All right, so I put everything out on the table and I pulled all the jokes out of the bag. So they're in here, okay, in the joke box. Um, anyway, so they're here on the table. Well, the rest of the pieces are here on the table and look. Okay, I didn't open this bag yet. These are all brooches. So I am going to Go through what's on the table with you. And hold on, I'm putting lotion on because my hands are forever dry. But now they're clean at least. Okay. Um, anyway, let me get to it. And I wanna thank Carol. Um, in the last video, she let me know what this stone was because I had forgotten. And this is Snowflake Obsidian. So this necklace is really cute. But look at these stones up here. They're probably onyx. And I cleaned the clasp off. So I'm not sure if it's silver. I have to test it. But aren't they cool beads? Look at these. And then the obsidians at the bottom. Along the bottom. So that's really pretty. Wait, I'll lay it out so you can see it. Okay. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. I have to research this a little, but it's pretty and I need to test it. I love the clasp. All right, oh, let's see. Oh, also, I looked this up and apparently the chain that's normally on it has a bunch of crystals and they're Swarovski and so are these. So I was not aware of that. But anyway, I put this chain on and I just thought that was interesting. But that's a cute pendant. I forget what it was being sold for, but I like that. It's really cute. All right, what's next? Oh, this was cute. Look at this one. Look at the beads there. And these are some type of art glass. And then this has a nice clasp too. I cleaned that off and it was really dark before. Now it's a nice silver color so I have to test that but look at that blue and this is like a purpley brown it's really unusual I know purpley is not a word <laughs> so I can't think of anything else to call it <laughs> I'm about ready to sign up for an English class because I have to expand my vocabulary. Maybe I'll just read the dictionary. I could do that, like read maybe five words a day and memorize the meanings. All right, let's get to it. Now my table's a little bit messy. It's all the dust from the jewelry bag. All right, so I'll put that there. Okay, these earrings are really cute. Look at these. Those are vintage. And look, J. Crew. Aren't they cute? That would be a good thumbnail for the video or this. I'm always looking for good thumbnails because whenever my videos are published, they just put one with a video and it's always bad. So then I have to go into YouTube studio and try to find another picture 
to go along with the video. This is cute. It's just a simple silver tone heart pendant. But it's a cute one. All right, so we have these and this. And I got this necklace untangled. And this isn't bad. It's shell. And then it has these little beads. And these are wooden. So these wooden beads, then the green glass beads. They look like sea glass. And it has this clasp. So that one's not bad. And you can double it because it's long. See? So there's that one. All right, next I have this earring and I'm sad that I couldn't find the other one. So there was only one in the bag, but this could be used for a craft project. So I'm putting it in the joke box, but it is cute. Okay, and then I have this bracelet. This is um, an ID bracelet. It says Mary, but look, the back says Japan. I saw another one of these and it was called Carnival Jewelry or Carnival Bracelet. I'm not sure why. I don't know if this is the same thing, but it had the same clasp. Although on that clasp, it said something different and it didn't say Japan on the back. So I don't know. Are there any Marys watching my video? Do you need an ID bracelet? Because here it is, if you do. It looks like stainless steel. Anyway, that's kind of cool. And don't forget about this. Sandra, if you're watching, it's very cute. I love this owl. But the chain doesn't really match. Although the clasp sort of does, but not really. It's very different. He's looking at you. The wise old owl. Okay, what is next here? Hmm. I'm trying to remember what I've shown you already. Oh, I know. Or showed you. I just said shown you. Okay, look at these. These are strange. I threw these in the joke box. Um, let me try to get it to focus. Don't know why it's not focusing. Okay. So, someone please explain this. Because these say 14K. And then there is a maker's mark. And I don't know what that maker's mark is. And I cannot get it to focus. Alright, look. So, I do not know. But look at the balls on the end of this. So, to me, this looks like plastic. I am very confused by that. Here's the other one. And look, it's dirty. I have to clean these. But I am perplexed because this does test as gold. So why would you have plastic on 14 karat gold posts? That is a complete mystery to me. So if anyone has any clue, please tell me. And I showed you this before. This is really cute. It's so thin. But this is a 14 karat gold filled chain. And look, it's in really good condition. And it's bright. And it's hard to see. I'm trying to get it to show up. 
and there's the clasp. And I'm trying to find the 14 karat gold filled, but it's here. Oh, there it is. Okay, 14 karat gold filled. So, I don't know. And my cat just showed up. Come here, girl. Do you want to be in the video? Do you want to be in the video? Come here. Come here. She's sitting on the edge of the table. Come here, girl. Do you want to say hi? All right. I showed you one of these before, but I have two. But look how pretty these beads are. One bracelet is plain, and the other one has these gold toned spacer beads. And these are cold. I'm assuming they're just glass, but look how pretty they are. Oh, that could be a good thumbnail, too. Look, I'll, I'll put it like that. Come here, girl. All right, this is cute. And this is in really good condition. Look at this one. So it's a vintage gold tone bracelet with some faux pearls. It has no wear. Look at the clasp. That's a pretty one. I like that. I don't know about a price. I'm sure it won't, won't be much, but I have to look into that one. And this necklace, oh, this is Korea. But look at this, this is in good shape. Look at this gold. It's in really good shape. Get, no. All right, and I think I showed you these already, but that's a cute set. These are pure allure for JCPenney and they're vintage. So if someone is interested in these, you get a pendant, uh, not a pendant, a brooch and earrings. So if somebody is interested, um, I can do that set for 15 because it's vintage and it's cute. All right, what else do I have here? Okay, I have these little turkey earrings. <laughs> That's messed up a little bit, but... Oh, actually, no, it's not. That's the way it is. Those are cute. And then I have these gold tone earrings. And I don't see a name on these, but they're in good shape. And then I have this pendant. And I did look this one up. The name of the designer is Carol something but it's missing the chain. And this is thermoset. So that's a cute pendant. And then I have this pendant. This is Premier Designs and it hooks in the back. That one's nice. And I have this little um, red and white stretch bracelet and that needs to be cut that was cute and then I have this pendant necklace I think I showed this one before but it is the V necklace if that's a V I'm not sure if it's a V or a C or a T. It's 
So if you recognize that, let me know, because this is cute. It's just a faceted rhinestone. Feels like glass, but that's a pretty one. And I have this faux pearl stretch bracelet. The stretch is good. It's not stretched out. And then I have this. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is, um, what's it called? Amber. Where is my flashlight? Okay, I have to find my flashlight to check this out. I had it just a little while ago, and now it's missing. What did I do with that? Oh, here it is. All right, let's see what happens. Hmm. No, it's not looking green. So these are probably lucite. If there's no seam, not sure. It's really lightweight though. It feels light like amber. All right, and I have these earrings. Green, black, and a gold tone. And I have this necklace. This is in good shape. So this is a vintage one but there's no name on it. But look at the chain. Nowhere. And it's thick. So that one's nice. Very nice, okay. Then I have these heart art glass earrings. They need new posts, which I do have. I could put new posts on these if anybody wants them. They're pretty. So I got those. I have these little earrings, but it looks like this part here has a tiny bit of fading. So I don't even know. They're kind of cute though. Oh, just dropped one. I don't know. I don't see a name on the back. See how gold the back is? But then on the front, right at the top, it looks a little faded. And right along this edge. All right, then I have these earrings. These are cute. They're clear and an amber color. Oh, they're really pretty. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. These look old. They're enamel. They have a little bit of wear right on the tips, but I thought they were cool. And they need to be cleaned. Okay, then I have these earrings. I forget if these are signed. No, they're not signed, but look. Gold tone and little purple swirls. Very cute. And I have these and they're really thin. They're grapes. And nothing on the back. I could probably put those in the box. And I have this ring. And I don't see any designer on there, but it says I'll show you what it says. F something. I don't know if that's supposed to be a D. Or wait. I don't know. Maybe it's a P. P something. No, it's an F. 
So I'm not sure about that. Um, it's pretty big. Probably like a nine. I'm looking for my ring sizer. I'm not prepared, guys. All right, I'll check this out later. But it's bigger than an eight. Pretty, though. Okay, then I have this one. This is Aaliyah Sophia. Aaliyah Sophia. That's a brushed gold. And... Here's the piece at the bottom. It has some rhinestones. And that's in good shape. So there's that. And I have these little fan earrings. And they're super thin. And they need to be cleaned. And then I have these. Red and black. Enamel. Oh, this is kind of cool. I have to test this because it looks like jade. It's just a little elephant pendant. It's pretty neat. Actually, I'll turn on my gem tester. Okay, this might go in the joke box. So, it has these little moons, but... The first one looks like it has some glue stuck to it. So I'm going to put that in the box. You might be able to get it off. I'm not sure why it's there. It's cute though. And here's the clasp. Alright, I have this pendant. And it looks like it's a state. Not sure what state, but that's what it looks like to me. There's the back. It does not have a signature on it. I like that though. And then these are pretty. And they are Premier Designs. Silver tone and gold tone. And they're in good shape. I got those. Then I have this little Disney pendant. With Mickey. It says Disney. Uh, what else? Just trying to remember what I showed you guys. Uh, I have these two hoop earrings. And they're a light gold tone. Kind of cute. Nothing really exciting, but kind of cute. And I have these. And I did not check the posts. They're probably not silver or anything. All right, I'm going to get into the brooches in a minute. But I just wanted to show you guys this first. Okay, and then I have these earrings. So they're some kind of dyed stone. Hold on, let me check this. So they're only going to glass. But they're kind of cute. I just need to put a post on one. And what else? Oh, I have this little bracelet. <laughs> I like that plastic. This looks old. It's pretty cool though. All right, what else was I gonna show you? Oh. Okay, these are really pretty. Look at these um, unicorns. I have no idea who the designer is, but 
These are well made. And they're thick. So I have to look these up. They're in really good condition. I like those. Okay, and then I have two art glass pendants. And I'm sorry I'm not giving prices right now. I just want to get through this and show you guys what I have. This is cool. Look at the blue. And then that one's cool. It has a little floral design. A plant or something. Cute. And then I have this ring that's marked 925. And this stone is most likely a cubic zirconia. And this looks like some kind of um, like man-made opal. But I tested it and it's not testing a silver even though when I scratched it, I didn't see any other color. Like I didn't see any uh, copper or anything. So I'm not sure. It's not bad though, watch. See that? It's kind of pretty. And that's probably a seven and a half. Cause I, I can't remember what size my finger is. All right, then I have these two, and these are Uncas rings. See? Wait a minute, I'm trying to get it to show up. So it has the Uncas symbol. And that says seven. So wait, I'll be able to tell you. Okay, so my finger is bigger than a seven. So this is bigger than a seven. Okay, so that's seven. And this one is a 12. That's huge. So if anyone's interested in an Uncas ring, let me know. And then I have these, these are cute. And I think these are Avon. Oh no, they're Monet. <clears throat> so these are Monet. Little red knots. And I have these. Red, blue, and gold hearts. They need to be cleaned. But they're pretty. And then I have these little Avon earrings with purple stones. And then I have these red and gold tone earrings. And I don't see a mark on these. Uh, what else? Oh, these are kind of cute. Look at these little stars. With the little pearls. So they are cute. And then I have these also. They're gold tone with these... Um, like orange colored stones, or more of an amber. I'm going to test this. It's probably glass. Uh, the needle's barely moving, but they're cold. So, I don't know, but they're not bad. Then I have a moon and a star earring. They're adorable. Poison A. Very pretty. And then I have these little leaves. And these are interesting earrings. Look at these clip-ons. So these are like a dark gray. They look like gunmetal on the front. But look at the little AB stones and the pearl. And that looks like amber. 
could it be? Let's check it out. No. They're pretty though. They're clip-ons. Here's the back. I don't see a name. Could there be a name somewhere? They're interesting though. I'll have to research these. They're very pretty. Okay, and then I have these little earrings. Dangly. And there's that. These might go in the box. They're just purple plastic. Oh. And what am I forgetting? Oh, I have this little charm. It has a ring and a key and a heart. And I did not see a maker's mark on that. Um, oh, and then I have this too. This is really heavy and it is I can't remember what this is, wait. I think it's my knife. Wait, sorry. I can't see that. Can you guys see it? Yeah, oh no. Okay, so these are really thick loops. It's a heavy, heavy chain. That's a nice one. And the hook hooks into these loops because I don't see another chain here, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works because this is a big hook. So, well, that's a good one. And it's super heavy. It's probably about mm, at least six ounces, I'm thinking. All right, then I have this. This is really strange. And I almost threw this in the box, but I want to look it up because it's very unusual. All right, so it's like a brass tone. It has these metal balls, metal pieces here, some copper, silver tone flower, more copper and here's the clasp so look all right here i'll show it to you this way a feather a shark's tooth or some kind of tooth and another tooth so it's heavy i need to clean it i need to look it up I'm not sure about it. And then I have this necklace. And it has three chains. It's one of those 1946 necklaces. Again, so if anyone knows where you buy this brand, let me know. All right, but here are the chains. So this, hold on, the one chain, oh my gosh, I cannot get it clear. What is going on with my camera? 
Okay. These are like a peach with some little black lines in it. And then a rose gold, silver tone, and gold. And each chain is a different length. Here, I'll lay it out. Maybe you can see it. All right. It's hard to say, but if anyone's interested in that, let me know about that one. Okay, let me get these brooches out because I have not looked at them. And these are the chains over here. You can't see them, but here, I'll zoom out. Sorry, my table is a mess. All right. Hopefully, there is something good in this bag. What the heck is that? Look at this one. Oh, that's different. Look at these beads. It's a rose. Or some kind of flower that's not opened. That is weird, but cool. Interesting. I've never seen one like that. Okay, then we have a grandma. Um, brooch. This looks kind of like, oh, what is that brand? Paparazzi, but it's probably not. The back reminds me of paparazzi. I don't know, though. It's cute. It looks better than paparazzi. That's a mystery. I'll have to look it up. Interesting. Alright, what is next? What is next? A little angel. That's cute. That looks like silver. What is that? Somebody made this. SHB90 something. 99? Yeah, 99 it looks like. Wow, they did a good job. That is so pretty. Huh. Very, very cute. Okay, here's a little flower, and it's seen better days. It has some wear, especially on the middle. On this middle bead. Or whatever, metal piece. Alright, and we have a breast cancer awareness brooch. That's pretty. Oh, Avon. Another Avon piece. That's in good shape. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a pretty leaf pin. Oh, no name. That is nice though. I like that. All right, ooh, what's this one? What does that say? Is that Premier Designs? That looks like it. And it's a snowman. I'll have to polish that and see what happens. That's interesting. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, what's that one? 
MC. LMC. Oh, that's so cute. Look, it's a little picture frame. Gold tone and enamel. That is so cute. And it has a piece of plastic in here. So when you put your picture in, the plastic will cover it. That is so cute. Oh, I gotta look that up. I love that. Ooh. And another leaf. Oh, I like this one. Look at this. It's a little bear. Adorable. I am surprised that's not marked from what I can see. Or is it? No. Oh, that is really cute. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, look at this, guys. That is awesome. I would have thought that would be marked. That is so pretty. Huh. It's pretty. It's like um, more of a mat here on the body. And then the harness and everything else is shiny. Oh, that's so cool. All right, what's this one? This says, ooh, Home Family Community Cooperative Extension Service. That's a nice brooch. That is pretty. I'll have to look that up. I like how the bow has this design on it. Wow, I like that. Okay, then we have this little heart pin. And I'm guessing that was gold at one time. Looks like it got wet or something happened to it. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything on the post. I don't see anything. I'll look at that later. All right, oh, a hat brooch, that's cute. Of course, it's not marked, but it's pretty. Oh, then we have a horse. This looks handmade too, but I don't see anything written on it. That's awesome. All right, oh, cameo. That one's nice. That looks somewhat vintage. That's cute. And then a box is not complete without an angel pin. I get these in every single lot. Just about. Cupid. Okay, not sure about this one. It's kind of strange. Don't know about that. All right, what's this one? It's 
missing a stone. And this looks like that pot metal. I might be able to find a stone for that. Then a flag pin. I get these all the time too. Pretty. What? Oh, that is, is that a Pokemon character? Oh, it is Pokemon. Well, that's a good one. 2019, so it's not old, but that's a good one. I'll have to look that up, put it on eBay. <laughs> that's a pretty brooch. What's this one? That says something. Danecraft. That looks old. I like that. And all the stones are there. That's so cute. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Love that. And it has a P on the front. Look at all the little pearls around the edge. Oh, I love that. And it says something. What does that say? I cannot tell what that says. Um, is that WAC? WAC. Beautiful. And this can be worn as a pendant. And we have another one. Ooh, what is that one? K. Looks like KS. Or just K. And that looks old. Alright, what is next? Oh, another horse. Somebody got rid of their horse pin collection. And this one looks really old. That is so cool too. Love that. Okay, breast cancer awareness pin again. Made in USA. This one. I'm looking for a mark. And I am surprised that doesn't have a mark. It's just simple. That's cute though. I thought that would have been like Avon or Monet or something. All right, what's this one? Oh, a little butterfly. See if there's anything on it. No. says something. Uh, what does that say? AJC. I'm not familiar with that brand. That's a cool shoe. Nothing on the back. And this one must go with the other one. 
So that's just a silver tone pin. I don't see any mark. Hmm. Look at this one, guys. That is awesome. And this says something. E. I don't know if that's a G. E, G, C. I'm not sure. 92. I'll look that one up. This looks kind of like pewter. But I am not sure. That is different. All right, a little swirl brooch. No mark. Another horse. That one's cute. And it says something. Dangerous. Yep. That's pretty. And it has all of its stones. And I have a manger brooch, or not brooch pin. Cute. They're all cute. And this rose. And that one says Giovanni. That one's nice. In good shape. Very pretty. And another rose. Not marked. Sad. And last but not least. Well, maybe least. Yeah, least. <laughs> okay, this one's going in the joke box. All right, guys, that looks like the end. So that is the end of box or lot 21. Now I have to store all of this. So if you like anything, please leave me a comment because I know I didn't give prices, but I can just um, email you a price. If you leave me a comment, just let me know you're going to email me and then email me and I'll give you prices. Oh, I forgot to show you this necklace. This is the last one. It's kind of cute. Here, I'll lay it out. It has some shells and silver tone chains. Isn't that cute? So, email me, but first leave me a comment so I know, and then I will give you prices on anything that you see here. Okay, and I'm very sorry I didn't give prices in the video, but I just wanted to get through this and move along to the next lot. Oh, but look, here's one more thing. Look at those cute earrings. They're post back. Aren't they dear? I love those. All right. I guess that does it for lot 21. And get ready for the next one because it's coming. I'm going to open the box in just a little while. So I will post this. And I'm sorry if it wasn't that exciting, but I just wanted to get through it and show you what I had here. So again, thanks for watching and have a good night guys. See ya.